The rains have come to the desert. Door's locked. So I wanted to show you guys something super cool. It's raining out here today. But I just got home from the expo last night. I brought home some cool stuff with me. But I think this might be my favorite score of the whole expo. Yes. Camp Chef Smoke Pro coming in strong. It's even the bronze. Ooh. I cannot tell you guys how stoked I am to be a smoker. My whole life I heard that all the cool kids smoked. Now I finally get to be one of them. I got some pellets. This is a combination pellet, smoker, and a grill. So you can do either one on it. I've never messed with these things, but I've been watching YouTube videos all day on how to make delicious things. And I'm about to dive into it. I'm gonna do the initial burn on it um, to get rid of the oil and stuff that comes in the, from manufacturing. And uh, I'm gonna be off and running. So I got the hopper loaded up. It's kind of idiot proof. It has like a bunch of different settings, but it's all fairly straightforward and pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna fire it up. Just like that, it's making smoke. <coughs> it's just like real smoke if you're breathing in. What a beautiful morning. They don't get any better than this. It rained all night. It's cold, not too cold though. And I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna hit the hills. Oh, what's that? Product placement? Never. Let's go get it, guys. It is so beautiful out here today. It snowed last night. This is really the first snow of the year down here. And like, I don't know if I'm gonna get where I'm going because I just wanna shoot scenery. It's so beautiful. Like, these are the days that I kinda just end up in awe. This is a random, this is what, a Tuesday morning? And I get to do this today? Super blessed, like super, just, just grateful. Super grateful. But I just get so, man, like sometimes, sometimes this turns into a grind and a drag a little bit. But then every once in a while, it's like you get these moments of clarity where you'll just see beautiful things. You'll go to beautiful places that, you know, I never would have gone otherwise. And it's just, it's just overwhelming and mind blowing. And I'm so happy that I get to do this every single day. I mean, look at this scenery, you guys. I mean, I know the deer need moisture and the ground needs moisture, but why does it have to snow? I just want to pick up all the horns. What am I gonna do now? Seeing quite a few deer, but they're mostly just bedded up, but they're all shed bucks. Every single one I saw today. They've been shed for so long, you can't even see the bumps on their head where their antlers used to be. They look just like does. Well, that's a bust. <laughs> Too much snow out here and I don't want to get around and push the deer while they're they're bedded up. I might just bail on this deal. Um, that's the beauty of doing what I want all the time. I do what I want all the time. So I got that smoker a couple days ago and it's been killing me to try something and I thought a big old elk roast out last night. Just elk roast out last night. That sounded wrong to me. Um, a huge roast and I'm gonna go home and smoke that thing up plus I think I could probably get a business meeting in today with one of the partners I wouldn't even call that a shit hunting trip I guess I just kind of rode around but this time of year it's better to leave the deer alone if you can um, I try not to get out and hit it too hard you know I don't really believe all the hype about it killing deer to go hike around this time of year but I try to not move them but you guys 
I don't know if I'll remember to say this later or not. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Um, me and my wife are gonna do something. Um, I'll stay home tomorrow so we can. Ooh. 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 Those look like some brown tines sticking out of the snow. Just cruising. And I see this thing in the snow. Do you guys know? Do you guys have any idea what that is? What's that? What is it? I don't know. Actually, I do. First brown of the year, baby. Yeah. Road brown. Road brown. The first brown of the year is such a special feeling. Even though it's probably little. Pull it out. <laughs> it's a giant. It's a giant. Look at that. Deuce, deuce. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's such a good feeling to get that first shed of the year. Oh, look, it's a set. Sweet. I don't believe it. It happened. Shh, you guys don't tell anybody about this. Anyway, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and I want to cook something good for my wife on my smoker, um, on my pellet grill. Tell me what's your favorite thing to cook on a smoker for those of you that have them or a pellet grill. What should I cook for my wife tomorrow for Valentine's Day? This video is going to go up probably tonight, so I'll have a chance to read the comments before I try cooking. Um, but I don't know. I was thinking about maybe some, uh, some ribeyes and some veggies. I don't know. If there's anything like... What's your favorite recipe? What's like over the top? Something I like really nice I could make for my wife. Let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Even if you guys have any other good smoker recipes, I want to cook everything. I want to cook all the foods. I want to try everything. Maybe it's just because like it's noon and I haven't eaten anything today and I'm starving. But uh, hit me up. Uh, comment. Tell me what your recipes are. Link me some YouTube videos of your best recipes. Send me them on Instagram. Skyride them in the sky. Smoke signal them. LinkedIn. I don't care. I want to know all the food to make. I'm dying to use this smoker, so I got this roast. I thought out last night. It's a big elk rump roast off of a bull I killed. Jeez, it's been last, not this past year, the year before. But I'm going to spice this thing up, and I'm going to throw it on that smoker. Oh yeah, so this camp chef comes with this probe system. You put this end in the meat, and then the other end plugs in right here, and it'll tell you what your internal temperature is in your meat, and it'll also tell you the internal temperature of your barbecue that you're cooking with. So let's do that. Got the probe in there. Temperature of the smoker, 89. You push the button right here, it tells you 40 degrees on that roast. So, now, we wait. Well, I'm going to sit down and edit this video, and I'm not going to have the roast in the video because it's not done yet. So I'm going to have to uh, update you guys how that turns out. Uh, maybe I'll upload tomorrow night or something, and we'll see the, the wrap up on how that roast turns out. I'll tell you one thing, though. I'm super excited. And another thing, how good do these look? So stoked to finally have my bowls in my office again. My buddy had been storing them for a little while, so it's good to have them home. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching this video. It's kind of a hectic all over the map day, but that's kind of the way I live my life. So thank you guys for watching. And if you guys would do me a big favor, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Like, and leave me those recipes in the comments because I want to learn how to smoke everything, everything on the smoker, that is, on the Camp Chef. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.